Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Mirror of the World, and I want to thank you for joining today. We surely are going to have a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord today. I, I trust God that, um, you know, the chapter of the Bible that we are going to be reading today is, is going to do something to your spirit, man, is going to minister life to you in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, um, your, your spirit, man, will be strengthened. You are going to be challenged. You are going to be encouraged. You are going to receive strength to move to the next level. You are going to receive strength to get up from your sick bed. You are going to receive strength to do what you couldn't do before. You know, uh, uh, it reminded me of what the Lord Jesus Christ uh, told the disciple. He said, you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you you know the purpose of the holy ghost is not just to make you pray in tongues you know um praying tongue praying in tongue is one of the signs and the manifestation but the primary purpose of you receiving the holy spirit is to receive power dynamis ability you know might you know uh, increased efficiency you become more productive that is what is going to happen to you today in the mighty name of jesus my name is buki adioshun i have not changed my name and um I am your regular host on this program called The Mirror of the World, where we read a chapter of the Bible and then we pray for those who are sick. I want to encourage you to please go on our YouTube channel and watch our videos. We, we've done, uh, we did series on the book of John, on covenant, on faith. Just go Google Heaven of Glory. You know, it will come up on YouTube or you can just simply type in The Mirror of the World. You will see all the videos we've done. It's just maximum about 35 40 minutes or there about is an opportunity for you to read the bible and then you can go through line by line you can see some of the things that the lord wants to show us uh from his word now we've been reading the book of proverbs uh and i tell you it's been wonderful i i said that you know one chapter of a proverb in a day is going to make you to become more smarter uh okay uh, what have you been doing with your words? Uh, have you been feeding people with your word? I, I will never forget that scripture. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 21 says, The words of the righteous shall feed many and guide many people. Okay? So, do you remember that word that says that uh, soft answer turns away route, you know, and then we said that the goal of every conversation is for you to bring about the best in the other person. You, you need to go and make a signpost of that. The goal of every conversation is to bring about the best in the other person, not to cut them down. So if your husband is feeling cut down, if your wife is feeling that oh uh, she's a nobody because of your word you need to do something about it you need to make a queen out of your woman and you need to make a king out of your man and i believe that the lord will give you wisdom and strength to be able to do so uh so by the grace of god today we're going to be reading proverbs chapter 18 that's where we are going today proverbs chapter 18 and i tell you we are going to be greatly blessed today in the mighty name of jesus you know in the last chapter uh we talked about strife and we said that where there is strife and envy jealousy there is confusion and every evil work okay maybe you need to stop praying and get rid of strife everything is not just pray you know uh, we had a bible study today and um i said to people this the bible says that we should watch and pray so you are not supposed to <laughs> to just pray uh, that that means that if the bible says you should watch and pray that means that during prayer you are supposed to see something okay i'll leave it there uh let's go to proverbs chapter proverbs chapter 18 and um I like to read from the easy to read version of the Bible. I want to get my Bible ready. Are you are you ready for us to go? Sorry, this is a live video and I want to encourage you to join us 10 p.m. UK time. That's when we do this. I'm waiting for you to get your Bible ready because 
we are going to do it together proverbs chapter 18 is what we are reading today are you ready to go okay let's do it some people like to do things their own way and they get upset when people give them advice wow Fools don't want to learn from others. They only want to tell their own ideas. Do something evil and people will hurt you. Do something shameful, shameful and they will have no respect for you. Words from wise people are like water bubbling up from a deep well, the well of wisdom. You must be fair in judging others. It is wrong to favor the, guilt, the guilty and rob the innocent of justice fools say things to start arguments they are just asking for a beating fools hurt themselves when they speak their own words trap them people love to hear gossip it is like tasty food on its way to the stomach someone who does careless work is as bad as someone who destroys things the name of the lord is a strong tower those who do what is right can run to him for protection. The rich think their wealth will protect them. They think it is a strong fortress. A proud person will soon be ruined, but a humble person will be honored. Let people finish speaking before you try to answer them. That way you will not embarrass yourself and look foolish. Mm. A good attitude will support you when you are sick. But if you give up, nothing can help. Wise people want to learn more, so they listen closely to gain knowledge. Gifts can open many doors and help you meet important people. The first person to speak always seems right until someone comes and asks the right questions. The best way to settle an argument between two powerful people may be to use lots. An insulted brother is harder to win than a city with strong walls. Arguments separate people like the strong bars of a palace gate. Your words can be as satisfying as truth, as pleasing as the food that fills your stomach. The tongue can speak words that bring life or death. Those who love to talk must be ready to accept what it brings. If you find a wife, you have found something good. She shows that the Lord is happy with you. The poor are polite when they beg for help. The rich are rude with their answer. Some friends are fun to be with, but a true friend can be better than a brother. Wow. Um, <laughs> some words of wisdom there. Um, mm, let's look at verse 1. Some people like to do things their own way and they get upset when people people give them advice okay that's all i'm going to say there i'm not going to say i'm not going to say anything much more than that uh okay uh there's something i want to talk about today from this scripture and that's the fact that you need to be strong okay be strong in the lord okay strengthen your spirit now let's look at that verse again um he says that uh in proverbs chapter 18 he says that the strong spirit of a man the strong spirit of a man i'm reading from the amplified version now will sustain sustain him in bodily pain or trouble okay so how strong is your spirit you know the interesting thing really is that um we we just we just we need we need to we need to get some revelation all right uh one of the mandate that the lord gave us as a ministry is to develop the human spirit soul and body even before the Lord gave us the name of our ministry, the name of the church, not our ministry, <laughs> the, the work he has committed into our hands, I was so clear in my spirit as to what I'm supposed to do is to develop the human spirit, soul, and body. But uh, I was looking at, okay, fine, we can deal with the soul and the body, you know, but the Lord impressed it upon my heart 
to spend time developing the human spirit because everything happens in the realm of the spirit. I promise you. So uh, you're losing out a lot if you cannot key into that realm and you don't know what's happening in that realm. Uh, some Christians starve their spirit at the expense of their soul and body. You know, um, I, I hope you can see my illustration in the camera. I remember sometimes um, uh, the Lord told Brother Copeland, you know, Papa Copeland, uh, Copeland, when he was about to start his ministry and said, he, he went to a church and in a prayer line, and he saw in the realm of the spirit that people were queuing up and they were lining. They are lining up, you know, they had huge body, but he said their spirit was like this, very tiny, you know, very immature. And, and I can tell you something, that's the state that most Christians are today. That's the state that most Christians are today. The spirit is starved, is, um, is, is suffering from malnutrition. <laughs> Not strong at all. But the Bible now says that your spirit will sustain you in the days of trouble. Okay? So, um, you don't start to run all over the place uh, when trouble comes. The Bible did not say the spirit of your pastor will sustain you. You know, uh, when you are in trouble, your pastor will help you. Your friends will help you. They will speak words of encouragement to you. But hey, hey, brothers and sisters, it is what you have on the inside that is going to help you. Uh, your, your ability to handle failure is determined by the strength of your spirit. You know, your ability to handle the, the challenges of life is, is dependent on your strength, your spiritual strength. You know, uh, I read a story of a man who was into stock market. You know, you just, I wonder somehow why people who are rich just die. I mean, they just die like that. And you cannot just explain it because they are being, they're used to facing different challenges and all of a sudden something happened to them and they just can't take it anymore. And then the next thing, they commit suicide. So let me read a scripture to, um, to illustrate a point. Uh, Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10. Proverbs 24 10 say, If you give up, if you show yourself weak when trouble comes, on the day of distress, it shows you are weak. Now, some people say, oh, well, yeah, but are you trying to say that we have to be strong all the time? No, I, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're not going to give in. I'm not saying you're not going to go down. You know, um, um, uh, I think the Bible says that the righteous man shall fall down seven times, but you will rise up. So you can fall down, but you must also rise up. You understand what I'm saying? But when you, when you face the pressures of life and you refuse to give up, that shows that your strength is strong. You know, uh, my sister-in-law says something that has been proven that people who survive cancer, you know, that they have a fighting spirit. They fight cancer in their spirit. They refuse to give up. They, determine, they decide that they are going to overcome it. And in the end, you know, they, 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 they won the battle. So that's what I'm talking about today. If you don't, you don't develop your spirit when you are in the trouble. You develop your spirit before the trouble comes. Okay. You know what we do? Um, <laughs> we don't sow our seed before we had needs. We sow our seed when we have financial needs and then we expect miracle to happen. You are not supposed to live by miracles. No, 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 no. God daily loaded you with benefits. So the, the, the way it should happen is that, you know, God should be able to move you. 
to sow into somebody's life. Are, are you with me? Sometimes it may be that you need money yourself and God just say, you know what? I know you are in need now, but I have a son. I have a daughter somewhere. I, I want you to go and minister to them. I want you to go and be my extension, the extension of my arm to show them your love. So that's what we are talking about. Uh, you have to develop your spirit before trouble comes. Okay? Uh, let me ask us a question. You know, thank God I have to put on clothes. I have to wear my glasses. I have to look good. That's fantastic. But let's look at this. Look at it this way. Let's look at it this way. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 8 Amplified Version say, For physical training is of some value useful for a little okay let's think about it uh kim james trans translation say bodily exercise profited a little why did he say a little okay have you thought about this you spend time and go to the gym for those of you who are regular and if you don't uh you want to keep fit you spend a lot of time okay let me ask you a simple question something that i wanted to think about how will you carry your body without your spirit? Or can you carry your body without your spirit? Can your body go to work without your spirit? The difference between us and the person who is dead is that their spirit is no longer alive. It's gone. So it means that if you really want your body to function well, you need to develop your spirit. It's okay, people go to school, get education, you develop your mind, you do everything you can. What are you doing to develop your spirit? Okay, this is one of the exercises. This is that, that's a spiritual exercise. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 8 says, But godliness, spiritual training is useful and of value in everything. And in every way, for it holds promise for the present life and also for the life which is to come. Okay, God expects you to be strong. I'm gonna say that again. God expects you to be strong at all times. So I want you to. Uh, the year is not gone yet. I want you to run, write down a, a new goal. If you don't have it, I am going to develop my spirit. I am going to... You know, it's amazing. People miss church where they hear the word of faith. Okay? Uh, they don't... Programs like this where you read the Bible, we don't have time to do it. We can watch a football, a football match for one and a half hours, two hours, and at, at the end of it, like Brazil lost today, we put our money on it, and and, and our team, you know, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But we cannot spend time, we can't spend 30 minutes to pray in tongues. The only thing that we motivate you to pray in tongues or to pray is when there is trouble. Christian brothers and sisters, let's do something better. Please develop your spirit. Be strong in the Lord. Strengthen your spirit. Okay? Psalm 84 verse 7 says, They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appears before god okay so where does strength comes from strength comes from appearance when you appear before god that's where strength comes from so when you read the word of the lord as we are doing today you know we we, we are reading it and the lord is showing us some 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 images some pictures things we need to become that we need to increase our strength what happened we come out you know from this particular session from this video and our strength our spirit man is strengthening 
they go from strength to strength as they appear before God in Zion. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 say, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Can you see that? God expects you to be strong. Renew your strength. Please, can you, when you see a brother and a sister, tell them that Pastor Buku says, Renew your strength. Renew your strength. We are too busy. Okay, do you know the meaning of busy? <laughs> um, um, I think it's, uh, uh, somebody say busy is to be, to be busy. I mean, uh, that's, that's grammatical tautology. But he said, he buried under Satan's yoke. To be busy means to be buried under Satan's yoke. You know, I understand we're in a culture where uh, people expect you to be busy, but I tell them I'm not busy. And when I say I'm not busy, they look at me and say, oh, you haven't got enough to do. No, I just tell them, no, I am not a busy man. I'm a productive man because you can be busy, you know, uh, liking all the posts on Facebook. What, what do you get out of it? You're going to get many friends. Fantastic. Praise the Lord for that. You, you can be busy doing the same work over and over and again. What difference has he made? Has he added any value? Uh, you can be busy spending time on Facebook. What are you busy doing? You can be busy. Oh, you know, that's why I don't even want to go on Instagram at all. <laughs> Please, I love all of you. Mm. All of you on Instagram, I love you. God bless you. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's too busy for me. I'm telling you to be sure. But I, I, love, I love you. Please. You need to be on social media so you can interact with people at least know what's going on. Fine. Okay. We need to develop our spirit. That's the topic. Be strong in the Lord if you are just watching this video. Now, let's look at the last scripture today. Uh, don't forget the scripture that we read in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 14. The strong spirit of a man. Okay, it didn't say the strong spirit of your brother. A lot of time, some of us, we blame people for not helping us when we are in trouble. Uh, we blame people for not coming to our aid when we are in trouble. No, no, stop blaming people for your calamity. Stop blaming people for your, for your problems. The strong spirit of a man... We so start, start, start asking yourself the question today, how strong is my spirit? How can, can my spirit withstand the pressures that are coming? Because I tell you, the devil is mad, um, he's all out, you know, like the Bible says, they are looking for whom he will devour. The Bible says we should resist him steadfastly, you know, okay. Let me let me give you an illustration. If I let me see if I have the time, one minute. So so it's like you know the devil is pushing you. You can only push back when you've got enough strength. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody is pushing you against the wall. You can only be you can only push back when you have enough strength to withstand these people. And the Bible says that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So, if it's physical strength, you can go to the gym and prepare yourself. But we are talking about principality. So, you need spiritual strength to be able to push back. And that strength comes from the Lord. So, and that's where we're going to end today. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Are you in trouble? Are you grieving? Are you mourning? Are you sorrowful? Are you fearful? Receive the word of the Lord today. Be strong in the Lord. I read the Amplifier. He said, be empowered through your union with him. Draw your strength from him. That strength which is boundless might provide. Be strong in the Lord. Okay? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every single person watching this video. 
right now. Lord, to those who are discouraged, to those who are confused, to those who are dejected, for, for that person who doesn't even know where the next meal is going to come from. Lord, I speak strength into their spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I speak strength into their spirit right now. Spirit of the living God, I ask you to do what you know how to do best. I ask you to strengthen them. Give them strength. Not small strength. Great strength. Kapu risantayaka. Iglalo kusumba rikisanta kali keshukuya. Mangra kesikiria. Don't give up. Receive strength. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Sipali kasako ikisantu kuba. Glantish to kapurake ala kesikimbra. I want you to do something. I want you to stretch forth your hands like this. And I want you to receive strength. Just say, say, Lord, I draw strength from you. You remember what our Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 says? We read it say, draw your strength from him. Lord, I ask you, let there be a divine transmission today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for every single person. Oh, yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rage Stakepa Ikele Ashi. Receive strength in your bone right now. Yes, right now in your bone by your uh your 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 right leg, you know, receive strength right now and and begin to stretch it actually begin to you can feel some warm uh warming uh sensation in that part of your body right now begin to stretch it and receive strength in the name of jesus lord i thank you for all these miracles receive financial strength in the name of jesus thank you receive emotional strength in the mighty name of jesus you will not fail you will not fail you will not go down you will rise up in the mighty name of jesus i declare today in jesus name you will disappoint the expectation of people who thought you couldn't rise up again in the mighty name of jesus i i i, I declare i declare in jesus name that the throne you have been thrown into a pit in a dungeon thinking that you will not be able to come out but the power of god will raise you up today in the mighty name of jesus lord i thank you for all these miracles in jesus name amen and amen now before i go today don't forget a merry heart do it good like messing smile <laughs> be happy okay uh check our video i believe on proverbs chapter 18 we said be happy be happy okay the lord is in control be happy it will never be too late <laughs> it's always on time rejoice in the lord rejoice in the lord rejoice in the lord and i say rejoice forevermore hallelujah rejoice in the lord and i say rejoice forevermore praise the lord now before i go i want to do something i want to encourage you give your life to jesus say yes to jesus um, uh, jesus said um, anyone who believe in the son is not condemned so if you don't believe in son in the son you are condemned already so i'm asking you to come out of condemnation come out into the light of god you know let the light of god shine in your life let let god show you the path that you need to walk in so i want you to give your life to jesus i want you to become born again how do you do that i want you to say these prayers after me lord jesus 
I confess that I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins today. I believe you died for me so I can have eternal life. I ask you to come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. You are now born again. You are going to see my address on the screen. I want to send some materials to you that's going to help you grow spiritually. So please do send us a text or you have a testimony share with us. Um, and then, you know, uh, send, on a, send us an email and then we will send those materials that is going to help you grow spiritually. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage you to watch our video on the uh, on YouTube channel. Uh, you're going to find our videos there. And if this has been a blessing to you and you think it's going to encourage someone, I want to encourage you to please share the video. May God himself, the God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole, put you together, spirit, soul, and body, and keep you fit for the coming of our master, Jesus Christ. The one who called you is completely dependable. If he said it, he will do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until I come your way same time tomorrow when we are going to be reading Proverbs chapter 18. Be strong in the Lord. Develop your spirit man. Read the word of the Lord. Spend time praying in the spirit. That's how to be strong. That's how to develop your spirit man. God bless you and bye.